Oh, cool. Okay, give me one sec. Hey everyone, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Allison Gargaro and I have some really interesting information that you are going to want to know if you are watching the total solar eclipse. Now, maybe you're staying here in Houston or you're planning on heading out west to hill country to watch it wherever it is. I have some details on the exact timing so you know when you need to step outside, when you need to put the glasses on and be ready to go to watch the big event coming up on April 8th. So once again, an overview of the total solar eclipse. The moon is directly between the sun and Earth, so it's casting a shadow extending from Mexico all the way to Maine, and we are seeing a ton of states that are going to be under that path of totality. So a lot going on, and you have just over a week to prepare, but I want to let you know the exact coverage amount. So here is the path of totality, and then the further out you go, the less that you will be seen. So it will be a partial eclipse and Houston is right in this 90% range. Actually, 94.2% coverage is exactly what we are going to be seeing right here in Southeast Texas. Now, again, we're just a little bit outside of our viewership where you are in that totality path. So. You know, if you don't have plans yet, it's something that you might want to think about. But I want to take you into Texas specifically. Now, if you're traveling somewhere else, that's awesome for you. And I'm excited and share your pictures with me. But maybe you're just driving from Eagle Pass to Kerrville, Waco to Dallas. Here's a look at the times of when we are going to be seeing that peak totality. Now I want to mention it's going to be the span of a few minutes and I'll have the duration for you in just a sec. But you can see right around uh, 1.30 down in Eagle Pass is when we'll be seeing that totality. Kerrville about 1.35, up into Waco about 1.40, and Dallas about 1.45. But we're going to have details on our website, the exact time frame. You know, it's 1.38 to one. 42 type thing um, because we're actually going to be seeing several minutes of that totality. And here are those details. Eagle Pass will be seeing totality for a total of four minutes and 24 seconds. Kerrville, another round, four minutes, 24 seconds. In Waco, totality for four minutes and 16 seconds. And Dallas will be seeing totality for three minutes and 51 seconds. So it's awesome that it's going to be a few minutes, but then some people are like, it's just a few minutes. I thought it was a whole thing. Now, the way that the eclipse works is that it starts and you'll see just a little bit and then a little bit more the further it gets. So in reality, it's going to be, you know, from the start of the partial eclipse to the end of the partial eclipse and totality in the middle, it's going to be a bit longer, but the actual totality, and that's where I heard is just the most magical time to look at it, is going to be anywhere from three to four minutes. Now, here is Houston, popped Houston up on the map. Let's give you some info on viewing the eclipse going to be a partial eclipse, but hey, it's going to be here in Houston. I mentioned 94.2% coverage. Now, the eclipse, like I mentioned, starting at 1220, but the fullest coverage that we'll be seeing when it's at officially 94.2% coverage is going to be at 140 in the afternoon, and then the partial eclipse eventually will be ending at 301. So that's where we get kind of a meteor uh, time frame and time chunk of that. But the fullest coverage is going to be seen at 140. So get out and get those glasses ready. But I want to talk about the cloud cover starting on April 1st. 
Then we have um, some clearing by the end of next week, but let's take you into the weekend. So Saturday, some clouds are moving through. Sunday, clouds are moving through. And unfortunately, right now, it looks like we are going to be seeing cloud cover on Monday. And with the clouds, could be seeing some rain as well. So here's a look at our GFS model. Models still trying to get into agreement on the exact time of some showers and storms rolling through, but we have Thursday dry, Friday dry, Saturday, we're actually going to be seeing some of those clouds moving in. But here we go with this front, late Saturday night and Sunday, making its way from Dallas to Waco. And then Sunday evening could be seeing some lingering showers in Texas Hill Country. And then here's a look at the latest model run on Monday. So we're still a week out and I want to preface that a lot of things can change during that time. But right now it looks like remember about 140 in Houston and 130 to 140 San Antonio to Dallas. We could be seeing some showers around now. Want to let you know that you can stick with us here at Fox 26. We're going to have the latest updates for you. Everything from watching the eclipse starting from Mexico all the way to Maine. We're going to bring you the latest weather updates and we have meteorologists and reporters that are going to be stationed across the entire path of totality. Download Fox local. It's free to download on your smart TV and you do not have to change the channel. We are going to have everything coverage starting in the morning, continuing throughout the afternoon and all the way to our 5 p.m. newscast and beyond. Again, this is happening Monday, April 8th. You don't have to leave the comfort of your own home. You don't have to worry about the glasses. Just turn your TV on to the Fox local free smart TV app for all the coverage details. For now, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and happy Easter.